Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, it is July 22nd, 2020. And uh, for some of you who don't know, it was my birthday a couple weeks ago. I turned 32. I know, I don't look it, right? So, some of you may be, during this pandemic, are either going to school, back to school, remotely, if you are, make sure you have good internet, or if you're going, or if you're, or if you are going back to school, you're going back to school in a limited capacity, make sure you wear your mask, alright? So, in that capacity, I decided I'm going to share a little DIY with you guys. Now, I've actually done this DIY a few times, but I've never filmed myself doing it, so we are going to make a pencil sharpener out of a prescription bottle. So, let's go. So the first thing we're going to need is, whoops, so the first thing we're going to need is a prescription bottle. You can use whatever size bottle you have. You're going to need a pencil sharpener. I'm using the round one because I think that one works really well. Then, you're going to need, well, I can't get to it right now. You're going to need an X-Acto knife and hot glue. Also, I'm going to be wearing gloves this time because, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can't tell, but right there, I uh, burned myself on my hot glue gun. So, we're going to make sure we don't do that. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I did was I took my rotary drill and I did my little drill bit attachment. I did this so that way that when I put my X-Acto knife in, that way I would, it would be a little bit easier for me to get in there. And after a little bit of sawing, it worked. Now I'm taking my X-Acto knife and I'm cutting a hole. Now, one thing you want to try to do is you want to try to make sure your hole at least is wide enough to fit the opening of the pencil sharpener. It doesn't have to be exactly precise, but having done this a few times, I have found that as long as the hole is big enough, then you're fine. All right, so uh, I did put my gloves back on just because I wanted to make sure I didn't end up stabbing myself when I went through the other side of the prescription bottle. So then once I've done that, now I'm going to get out everything and again, you want to make sure that as long as it does fit, then you'll be good. Alright, so we've taken our exact knife and we've put a little hole in there and you don't really have to have it perfectly circular, but you want to make sure that the hole where the pencil goes in is going to want to fit. Now, we're going to be using Elmer's glue wall and, of course, trusty dusty standby hot glue. Now, remember how I mentioned that I burned my finger? So, I'm going to make sure I keep wearing these gloves because, again, safety first. All right, now comes the hard part, getting the paper label off of the prescription bottle. I don't know why it does, they make it so hard to do that. I guess so that way nobody can try to uh, pass them off as someone else's uh, stuff. And then um, I did end up trying to use my X-Acto knife, but it, <laughs> wow. Let's just say that I realized I had to uh, do something else. So then, once again, I gloved up and Again, I gloved up and I grabbed my thing. I made sure that I could set that in there. I grabbed my glue wall and very carefully applied some glue to the uh, to the thing. And whew, let me tell you, it is very interesting. Uh, the gloves got in the way there, so I had to do it again. And then, of course, while this was happening, I had my hot glue gun heating up, so that way I could do it. Oop, and then that happened. But I made sure that I could have it in there. And, yep, there we go. Now it's cooperating with me. So, once again, gloving back up, making sure I have my hot glue gun. And now here's the important part. You want to make sure that you have enough hot glue surrounding the pencil sharpener that you don't actually end up melting it, but just enough so that way the edges can stick to the top of the, to the, top of the, uh, the lid. And again, what happened was the other day I burned myself, so as you can see, trying to make sure that I don't, 
well, that I don't burn myself, because let me tell you, hot glue hurts when you are burnt with it. So after making sure I did some well done daubs around the, uh, around the side there, when we were ready. And then, of course, there's a little nice side view there. Now, uh, there you go. As you can see, here it is, just like that. I did put a little bit, mm, zoom in a little bit on that. I did put a little bit more glue all right there, just so that way, uh, when it does, when we do get need to uh, get there, then we'll be able to fix it. But yeah, this is it so far, and honestly, this is a lot better than when I did it the last time because I didn't end up burning my finger. Let me tell y'all something. If you ever burnt, been burnt with hot glue, it hurts. All right, so here we are on day two of the DIY pencil sharpener. Now, here's our pencil. Here's our lid. And as you can see, it uh, turned out pretty well, I think. And then put a little bit there, just in case, as I said, I put a little bit of glue wall just to make sure it did hold. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good. All right, so now, here is the prescription ball. You may recall in a few in the video a little bit ago, I had some trouble getting the paper off. So what I did was I got as much of it off as I could. I went and I soaked it in some warm soapy water. I got most of the paper off. It's still kind of sticky, but I don't think that's going to be any problem. So now, so that way the paint can take to it, I am going to, well, I'm going to sand it. So, let's get to that. Now that we've chosen our paint, I decided to go ahead and get out my seven and a half brush. Then I uh, first put in a little bit of white, maybe a little bit. I think I put a little bit too much. Then I did a little bit of blue, which is one of my favorite colors. And then a little tiny bit of yellow. I was trying to go for sort of a, a greenish, uh, whitish yellow sort of a light green, but it seems what I ended up coming up with was, uh, well, a very nice light teal color. Took my little chopstick and stirred it up. By the way, the thing that I'm using to stir the paint in is just a piece from an egg carton, and I find that those work really well just for mixing paint. You don't have to worry about uh, dirtying up any plates or palettes or anything like that. And the paint that I'm using is actually paint that I got from the Dollar Tree. Those are called the, uh, it's called Prong, and it's washable tempura paint, which is actually very handy. And believe you me, I'm actually glad that I got it. So once I stirred it up a little bit more, yep, see, we have a nice little teal color. Then a quick Coca-Cola break, and then back to work.
All right, as you can see, it's dried pretty well. I'm going to apply one more coat of paint, then we're going to put the top on, then we're going to test if it can sharpen. So this technique was actually recommended to me by my brother, Christian Brulante. You guys hear me have heard me mention many times on this channel. He's really awesome. But he recommended this as a way to make some prop bottles for a cosplay that I did plan on doing, but, you know, pandemic. What are you going to do? Okay. By the way, I want to give a quick shout out to all the grocery store workers, the policemen, the firemen, the doctors, the nurses, everyone who's out there right now making sure that we're still running at some semblance of normalcy. Thank you guys. You are the heroes. Okay. Alrighty. Hmm. That's a nice color. I actually wanted to try to go for a, a lighter color, but you know what? I like this teal color. Teal's an underrated color in my appreciate in my opinion. Alright, let's check the top here. A little touch up. Probably wouldn't hurt. Do do da 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 Okay. Alright. <sighs> Now, I'm going to wait a little bit before it fully dries, because I don't know if you saw earlier, I did try to put it on the thing. It was still a little uh, dry, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this little fan here. I'm going to let it dry. Then we're going we're gonna to try to put it on. Then we're going to test this pencil to see if it sharpens. Yep, I knew it. It's moving. Hold on. You guys gotta see this. Look. It's moving. <gasps> My fan is possessed! Ah! Okay, stop it. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, it could be I don't have the things up. Uh, I'll fix that later. Okay, update on the fan moving situation. I finally was able to get it to stop moving because I had to move these up. So, note to self, kids, make sure your thing moves. Because for a minute there, I thought I really was losing it. I thought my fan was possessed by Pazuzu. Huh. I just realized that this setup, I kind of look like binging with Babish. Hmm. Hold on a minute. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Binging with Babish, where today we'll be cooking up a lovely DIY pencil sharpener. <laughs> oh, man, that was funny. Um, no disrespect, Andrew. Love you. Huge fan. Um, Want to get your cookbook eventually. Oh, and also, you suck at cooking. Well, no, you don't suck at cooking, but shout out to the user, you suck at cooking. You're awesome, dude. Love you. Alright, it's dried enough that we can put the pencil thing on. Alright, so, here we go. Come on, come on. Uh-oh. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, hang on. A little bit of an issue here. Some of the glue from the hot glue has... I can't... I'm not able to get it, so... Okay, we fix this. A little tool here. Mm -hmm. Yep. What a lovely way to spend an afternoon.
so here we go I think we got something here oh yeah now, I don't know about you but that is a perfectly sharpened well there you have it a nice little DIY that you can do uh, to celebrate going back to school or you know going back to school remotely I've even given these away as gifts so if you want you could do the paint kind of like uh, you could paint it purple you could paint it uh, black orange purple and green which apparently are the uh, Halloween colors I didn't know that you could paint it uh, red and white if you want to do Fourth of July even though that just happened you could also uh, you could also do maybe even you could even do red and green for Christmas or you could even do pastel colors for Easter and honestly any size pencil sharpener will do however I've seen people do it with these little soda the little uh, jars that you get from uh, Cracker Barrel you know with the uh, with the uh, blueberry pancakes. I love those blueberry pancakes. Now I'm hungry. <clears throat> anyway, so thanks guys for sticking around for this DIY part of Summer Palooza. And there's going to be a lot more. Uh, upcoming video is about one of my favorite authors, uh, Roald Dahl. I'm really excited about that one. I can't wait for you guys to see that. It, I've been working on it since, uh, oh boy, since, um, Oh god, how long have I been working on it? April? No, that doesn't sound right. Uh, no, no, I've been working on it since last month. But yeah. So, also make sure you guys are subscribed to my blog. That's where I put a lot of other stuff as well. And again, you guys can follow me on social media. And just recently, I've started posting a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff and some random silly stuff on TikTok. Although I can't help but wonder if by the time this video is up, TikTok might be banned. Let's hope not. Fingers crossed. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, bye.